kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on QR code scanner with SQLite database. Okay, guys. So, in this part, we will create and we will be handling the database. So, let's create a new package and let's name the package as databases. And click on OK and then we can create a new java class and let's name it as db helper okay so here we can first of all extend it with sqlite open helper and we can just write here and click on art enter and click implement methods and we will we need to implement these two methods on create and on upgrade then we also need to create a constructor then we can simply say ok and you need to just remove all that and instead of version type 1 then we can pass null ok so here we need some uh, variables so first of all we can have private or we can say public static final table name sorry string table name and we can name it as my table then we can have public static final string database name and we can name it as my okay database qrdb dot db okay we have these uh, the table name then the database name so we can uh, pass the database name here and we need the another two uh, strings for our column so first of all we can say public static final and I can we can say integer column ID equal to ID then we can say okay so we need it at then we can say public static final string column one then we can say column two and it will be code let me see the model yes ID code and type so here we can also say public static final string call three equal to type all right and then inside our own upgrade method we can say db dot sql and we can execute the sql command drop table if exists and we can pass the table name all right and we can create the okay we can call the own create method and we can pass the database object here okay so now let's go to our own create method and here we can also need to execute query and here we can say create table plus table name then we can say plus id integer then we have the primary key auto increment and then we have code as text then we have type as text alright and I will close the braces and I think it is enough okay guys so now we have the own create method and own upgrade method okay so now here we need to write the code to insert the data so first of all we can write the, the method as public boolean insert data and 
what will be what it will receive is the code and the type okay and here we can uh, use the content sorry content values and we can say content values dot put and we can put column 2 and we can pass the code and then we can say content values dot put call 3 and we can pass the type all right then we can have the sqlite database db equal to this dot get writable database then we can say long result equal to db dot insert and the first one here will be the table name then we will pass null and the final one will be the content value so here we can check if result equal to minus one return false else return true all right so this is the method to insert the data now we can also create a method that will return all the data from the database okay so here we can say uh, public and it will be of type array list because it will return the array list of all the data items so here we can pass i uh, list item sorry not this one here you need to select this one our class uh, package name okay so here you can see around studios dot model and just import it and here we can name the method as get all information okay and now we need to use the select uh, query in the database so we can first of all create another array list of type list item array list equal to new array list and now we can also have sqlite database db equal to this dot get readable database here we can use the cursor object so we can say cursor equal to database dot raw query and in here we can say select steric from table name and we can pass it null okay and here we can check if cursor is not equal to null so we can say while cursor dot move to next and here we can first of all uh, find the id so we can say int id equal to cursor dot get int and we can pass zero then we can say string code equal to cursor dot get string we can pass one then we can say string type equal to cursor dot get string of index two okay then here we can create the object of list item so we can say list item equal to new list item and in here we see we can pass first of all the id then code and then the type okay and finally we can add it to the array list so we can say array list dot add and we can pass the list item here all right then after uh, then if it is not equal to null and here we can say cursor dot close we need to close the cursor and finally we can return our array list all right now let's go back to our main activities and what we are going to do here okay so first of all we need an array list of type 
list item and we here we can say okay so here what we can do we first of all need to fetch the data from database if it is available show it using recycler view adapter okay so here we can say array list equal to okay so here first of all we need to create the helper class object so we can say db helper 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 and here we can initialize it as helper equal to new db helper and we can pass this then we can here say array list equal to helper dot get all information okay so here we can retrieve all the information in an array list so we can check here if array list dot size is greater than zero then it means the data is available set it to adapter and else we can pass or we can print a message that no data found all right so here if the data is available so we can uh, the we can pass the array list to the adapter and set the values so here okay so guys i i think it is now enough for uh, this video so guys i will be doing and we will be creating the adapter in our next part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye